So, since the last stream, I've done a little bit more grinding. I first of all, uh, like, condensed all of the chests that we had, because we had way too many chests, they were way too spread out, and everything was just a complete mess. It's still a complete mess, I'm not gonna lie, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, we now have this chest here, which contains all, uh, as many of the, like, um, block dust as I could make. I tried to craft everything into its, like, four by, uh, two by two block, which is all in here, and then the leftover dusts should be, oh, come on, mouse, stop playing with me now. The leftover dusts are over in this chest over here. So this is, like, everything that didn't craft up. I also didn't do the, um, tungsten, titanium, and zinc, just because I didn't realize that they were actually, um, from the egg, they were, like, the same kind of thing until, like, five minutes ago, but uh, most of the stuff here has been crafted down and put into that chest, and quite a bit of it, uh, has been thrown through the smeltery. If we come over here, uh, I've gone through quite a bit of iron and also quite a bit of gold, because those are the two materials that we've been, like, really missing up until recently. We've got, kind of been struggling for gold, especially, and then the other four chests are just still... <laughs> random trash like uh, this chest just random trash more random trash quite a bit more random trash and then you guessed it just a bunch more random trash and so it's not massively organized yet but we're down to five chests as opposed to like 10 and we've got quite a bit of space I, we've got a little bit of space left you know we've got like a couple of slots here we've got a few slots at the bottom of here a couple more at the bottom here we haven't got a ton of space but we've got more than i felt like we had last time we've we were kind of at a place where i was just like my, my inventory was getting clogged up because there was no space whatsoever it was ridiculous um and i also come over here i put in five of the speed upgrades into the uh, the auto safe here because uh, I was doing a little bit of tinkering, kind of like just looking at, I want to press O to get rid of this. Um, seeing how much redstone flux the autos have used with the different upgrades in, uh, because we do have some fortune upgrades and some speed upgrades left over. And I'm not quite sure. Uh, oh, they're over here. So we've got four fortune upgrades and one speed upgrade. But if you try and put all of these into the auto save, it gets a bit ridiculous. Like if we put all of these in, it uses 246 RF per tick, which we can not even, we're not even close to be able to produce that right now. It's way off in like, not that distant in the future, but it's, it's a little ways off. And so I settled on five speed upgrades and I connected up the furnace generator that we made a little while ago, put a bunch of charcoal in there. And we've also got the lava generator running as well. Both of those produce 40 RF per tick, which produces 80 RF in total, just enough to get this thing up and running. And I also, final thing, uh, I added two more crucibles over here. So now we've, we've tripled our lava production since the last session as well, which is pretty good. Uh, so I think that is pretty much everything that I have done. But yeah, we're going to work on some logistics pipes. Um, last time we were, we, we kind of tried to start last episode on logistics pipes. Um, we were talking about either using storage drawers or just using chests. Now, um, the argument for using storage drawers uh, and the way that storage drawers work is you can just use the one uh, draw controller and then put a logistics pipe on that and it will access everything that's in any adjacent storage drawer. But I'm probably not going to use storage drawers just because of the fact that A, I think they're a bit laggy when you get like a lot of them down and B, we have so many different items at this point. If you look at all this stuff, we would need so many storage drawers to get all this stuff. Like we need one just for the vacuum chest, which makes absolutely no sense. Um, we could, if we wanted to have like all of our... No, I don't think it would work. <laughs> I don't think it would work. We have so many, like, odd bits and pieces, like items that are just one-offs, that I think it's probably going to be better for us to just put um, the provider pipes on every single one of these five chests and then have a request pipe that can access everything in these five chests. So uh, if we go back over to NEI here and we type in logistics pipes, uh, we're going to need a few things. First of all, we're going to need one of these logistical power junctions. This is the thing that transforms redstone flux into power that the logistics pipes can use. It's basically just like a, a bridge of some kind. Um, not quite sure why you need it, but they can't accept direct redstone flux, and so you need a power junction to connect the pipes to power. And we're also going to need, uh, I guess, five of these provider logistics pipes. Uh, these can attach to an inventory, and then if we make a request logistics pipe, what we can do is we can then open that request logistics pipe and see everything from within all five of these chests within like one interface instead of having to go and look between all of the different five chests in order to try and find the thing that I'm looking for. So that's the plan for the beginning of today's episode. Um, there is quests for it, but we haven't unlocked them yet. If we go over into, I think it's like the beta or the gamma branch. I think it might be gamma. Um, there are quests for logistics pipes and we've done a little bit of them. We already made some logistics pipes um, before, but... We haven't unlocked the quest yet, so we're not going to actually do the quest, uh, or we're not going to get rewards for the quest, we're kind of going a bit off book, but that's fine. Um, it's also one of the reasons why I got a bunch more of these, uh, the, the gold here, so 
Uh, to get these five, it's actually going to be fairly easy because redstone we now have in abundance. I also saved uh, quite a bit more of the compressed dust here. I saved about a stack and a half of compressed dust. And so if we come over to our diamond chest, we've got 47 redstone right now, which is not a ton, but it's enough to get us through this bit of the, the, the stream here. Um, and we should also have a, quite a few. Yeah, we've got five leftover basic logistics pipes. That's a little bit annoying just because... I would like to have one, I'd, I'd like to not have to make another set of logistics pipes, if possible. I'd like to just be able to use the five that we have. And so, what I might do in that case then is try and condense down what we've got here into four chests. And then use that last one for the request pipe. Where is the request pipe on here? I don't want the Mark II. I want just a standard, a bog standard request pipe. And I'm not quite sure... Oh, there it is. Request logistics pipe. Uh, this one needs a diamond gear, a redstone logistics pipe. Uh, oh, no, a request logistics pipe and a redstone. That's the Mark II. The Mark I. Oh, the Mark I's super easy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we need five golden gears. I think each golden gear is for gold. So, if we just put 20 gold back into the smeltery here, we should be pretty much good to go. I'll just go ahead and just, like, dump all that in there. We want to get rid of this and we want to replace that instead with the gear cast. And then with that... We should be able to start getting uh, some golden gears pretty easily. So those are going to start getting pulled out. Um, and other than that, it's actually fairly easy. Uh, the logistics pipe stuff, thankfully, doesn't seem to have been tweaked that much from the base mod pack or like the base um, mod. Logistics pipes itself kind of has these recipes. And to the best of my knowledge, I don't think anything has been changed. Like these are just the vanilla recipes that you get with logistics pipes. And so that's actually pretty good. So four of these is going to get us that. Um, I don't think that we need a, um, a pipe for the power junction. We don't. We just need redstone and iron. So that thing should be fairly easy. Um, one problem we might have is the fact that our power is over here and our logistics pipes are all the way over here. Because uh, I'm going to want to put the request pipe, like, right here, I guess. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter where we put it. We could put it, like, all the way over here and then just run pipes underneath. It just means it's going to take a while for all of the stuff to get from the chest to us when we request it. Which is not a massive deal, but it is a bit of a pain. I'm not quite sure. Let's grab this stone. Let's make our pipes. And um, we'll figure the rest of that out in a second. So let's get some redstone. We come over here. We can very, very easily just go ahead and make ourselves. Let me just check those are the right ones. Attaches to inventory. Send 16 items into the network on request. Ignore suppliers on the same block. Okay. This is the correct pipe. I do not want to make five of them. I want to make four of them. And then we'll go and do something like this. We'll go one two, three, and I guess four. Like I said, that does leave us with one extra chest. And so what I think I'm going to do in that case is uh, if we grab some more iron. Oh, my goodness. Don't do this to me, mouse. <laughs> Don't do this to me. What we can do is uh, we can get ourselves a, uh, a golden chest. And we might even upgrade uh, the chest to diamond chests as well because we are getting quite a lot of diamonds from all of the uh, the compressed gravel sifting. You sift some compressed gravel, which is really easy to get, and you get quite a lot of diamonds. We've got two of them right here, um, and I think that's enough to get us a diamond or a gold to diamond chest upgrade. Gold to diamond. Is that right? It is. So if we get six gold, uh, six glass, one gold, and two diamonds, which we have, I think. Do we have any glass? We might have to do a no, oh, no, we got 33 glass. Brilliant. Okay, here we go. Kapow, kapow. All right. So, we will then... Oh, gosh. <laughs> we'll then upgrade this chest here. And now, we should be able... Let me get all the stuff that I want to keep on my hot buy here. We should be able to get, like, all of this stuff um, where we want it to be. I want to keep that and that. And I'm not too bothered about the glass. Uh, we can put the redstone away. We'll put that back into this chest. Uh, we should be able to start just dumping all the stuff uh, from, like, this chest into this chest. And then we can probably just get rid of that iron chest entirely and then uh, if we wanted to we could get rid of this and then put it back down like right there and that should work out just fine we can always put like a, a thing in the middle there i would move this chest but i don't know of an easy way to move chests just yet like there's no dolly there's no chest transporter um so instead of all we can do really is just empty everything out and then put it back in later which is a massive pain and so instead what i think i will do um we should i believe have some um, some cobblestone pipes lying around. Let me look here. Pipe. Do we have any... Uh, we've got some void pipes. Not really what I'm after. That would kind of defeat the point of the entire system. Yeah, we've got some more pipes over here. So if we do this, um, that's just going to connect all those together. Um, and now, let's, let's get a, um, a power junction up and running, shall we? 
Redstone, Redstone, and Redstone. Logistics Power Junction. Okay, you know what? What we'll do is we'll get rid... We'll move this, which is going to just drop a bunch of garbage into our inventory. And I'll go and dump, like, most of this stuff uh, over into here. At least all of the ore stuff, and then all the gems can go in, like, here or something like that. Uh, that should be fine. And then what we'll do, we'll put down the Logistics Power Junction, like, right there. Because then it's going to get power from the Lava Generator. You might have to connect a Logistics Pipe to the Power Junction. Now that I think about it, which means we might have to make another set of logistics pipes anywhere. Which is real annoying, because I don't think you can do... Yeah, no, I'm actually like 99% certain you can't do this. No, you can't. Hey, yeah. Mm, that's real annoying. That's <laughs> real annoying. Um, I guess what we could do... We could try and kill two birds with like one stone here. If we put down our chests over here. If we put like this here, and then did a little bit of um, like chest re reorganization. If we just like get rid of all of the stuff in here, and do a little bit of moving. If we move everything over here, uh, we can't put it there though. If we were to, let's see, if we get rid of this, and we get rid of that, and we put down, <laughs> we put down like a chest here. It's gonna look a little bit bad, chat, bear with me. It's gonna look a little hideous. But, if we put down a chest here, and put all the, uh, the stuff from the iron chest in, and we just move these chests over, I think what we can do, and I can pick this up now, I think what we can do is we can put, uh, and I can also take out all the stuff that we don't have, uh, we can put down the provider pipe like right here, and I think that will connect to the logistical power junction, and be able to accept power for all of the other pipes. So let's like get all these back without dropping them into the void. There we go. And then if we do like this... So that now connects to the power junction. You can see it's turned. It's no longer red. So it is receiving power. And then if we just do one... Oh, gosh. If we just do one, two, three, like that. And then that's where we put the rest of the chests. So this should be the last of the migration here. We'll just take all this stuff and the chest. I would like the chest. There we go. And now, if we put this down over here, that does make life a little bit easier, because now all of our storage is next to uh, all of the power, which is good. Um, it is going to mean, it's, like I said, it's going to look horrible. It's all a bit cramped. It's a bit compressed. But we're not going to be using these chests for much longer. Uh, we're going to be using them for storage, but we're not going to be, like, um, actively going in them for much longer. We're going to be using the request pipe, and so it should be fine. All right. So all of our stuff is now stored there. Let me get some glass and some gold. So that we can make ourselves some more of those golden pipes. Just as I say, we're not going to be using these chests anymore. And then he starts using the chests. What a guy. Uh, where's our glass at? Is it not? Oh, it's there. Okay. So, let us get rid of... Also, where's my, where's my hatchet now? Is that... Hiding in one of these chests? I mean, it must be. Did I, oh, did I put it in here? I did. I did. I did. It did have Bam, Jam, John Bam's Destroyer. All right, there we go. Like I said, only using it to get rid of this. I don't really need it now, but essentially, we just have to connect this pipe to this pipe, and I don't want to have to, like, mess with this pipe. And so we're going to kind of just go round and under in this horribly ugly-looking fashion. But it's going to work. That's all that matters. It's going to work. Okay, so if we do, like, that and that and that, now they're all hooked up, everything is connected to power. All we should have to do now is get ourselves a wrench and then a, um, a request pipe, and we should be good to go. So request, helps if you can spell request, logistics pipe. We are after this guy here, so we need a golden gear, which we should have now, and we also need an iron gear. So let me quickly grab uh, four iron. We do have a golden gear there, so I guess I can just use that one. But uh, we'll throw you in there as well. And that should be, like, real easy. Do we have a crescent hammer already? I don't think we do. So we are going to have to make um, another one of those, which I think is just, yeah, iron and tin. Easy stuff. I have to check, like, every recipe now because all the stuff has been changed. Many a time in uh, Infinity Evolved Skyblock, I'd go to, like, craft something, and then it just, I would have made all the stuff for it, and then it just wouldn't work. I think there was an unclaimed reward in there? In the quest book? Oh, there was. What did we do? Oh, <laughs> apparently we killed enough zombies, skeletons, and creepers. All right. I'm not quite sure when we did that, but that does get us some lapis lamps, another chance cube, and also a reward bag that is basic. What did we get? Some more invisible bedrock. Just what I wanted. Okay, we can put that away. We're not really going to need that. Uh, is this done? It is not. It's almost done. Chance cubes. We will open the chance cube. 
once we've made this pipe, we'll go and open the chance cube. Never fear. Uh, until then, I want to get three iron. And I don't think we have a tin lying around. I don't think we have one. Which is a bit of a shame. Also, uh, if you're just joining us, my mouse is playing up a little bit. So if I go for a chest and just randomly end up doing that, it's be like, <laughs> like I just did. Um, it's not because I'm like can't hold my hand still. It's because the mouse is just being absolutely ridiculous. Copper, gold, silver, tin. Here we go. Yeah, my mouse is being an absolute pain in the backside. I right, will throw it. Ooh, no, 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 no. Don't want that to go in there. Where is the ingot cast? There it is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Open them in the nether. We will open it in the nether. In the nether? In the nether. Never fear. My brain does that all the time. Do you ever do that where you try, you think of two words or you think of a sentence that you're going to say ahead of time and then your brain's just like, forget the sentence. We're going to try and say everything in just one word. And so I was going to say, never fear. We're going to do that in the nether or nether, never. And I was trying to say the word nether and never and it was just never, never, never. And it didn't work. It was <laughs> a little ridiculous. My brain does it all the time though. I'll, always, I'll come up with like an, an alternative word for what I'm going to say, and I'll just, my brain will just be like, oh, I will just mash them together. That'll work, right? If you watch the stuff with Nick, you'll probably see quite a bit of it. I do it all the flipping time. There we go. 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 Okay. So we'll take this, and then once we've got the tin, we can also go ahead and make the crescent hammer. Okay. We now have everything we need. Whoa. You can do the nom nom noms in. You can put Twitch global emotes in chat. That's crazy. If I go nom nom, it works. Whoo, that's 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 some some high level stuff right there. All right, uh, kapow and kapow. Let's put down our request pipe like right there. And what we should be able to do if we use our crescent hammer, we should now be able to just access. Oh, look at that! Look at that! So now, just like kind of like an AE system, instead of having to go through all the chests to get something, I can just be like, hey, I want some apple juice. I now know the apple juice isn't in there, and that means it's probably over here. It is. Uh, I should probably take all this stuff out of here and put it into like a relevant chest. Uh, so I don't have to faff around and okay, I will eat. I will consume this food. Uh, are we producing more power than we're using? We are just. It's going up. I like it. But now we can just like dump stuff into these uh, these chests here. Like completely randomly. We don't have to organize them at all. And then we can just access everything from this one pipe. I love it. Um, it is a bit more of a pain to request stuff than than with the um, the AE system. Like you have to actually like click on it. I don't want pop-ups. But if I wanted like, you know, eight wood logs, I can click request and then they get sent down the pipes. And they get spit out at the top. Any day now. Any, uh... Oh, is it? Oh, did it put it in the chest? It did. Uh, okay. Okay, we got we got to move this. So, the way the logistics pipes works, if they get to a junction, so like right here, the pipe, it got here, and then it didn't know whether to go down or to go into the chest. At this point, you're supposed to put down more logistics pipes because they can sort stuff to where it needs to go. Um, what we're going to do, because we don't have more pipes, is we're just going to do this. So now it doesn't have a choice. It has to go this way. Um, and then, yeah, so that should be fine. So now if we were to request um, some of this oak wood, if we were like request eight more, we should get it perfectly this time, right? Yeah. And then let me just do a quick check here. Let's find something in this chest. Uh, like, I don't know, flipping walrus. If I want to request a walrus... It should be able to make it over here, no problem. So walrus, I'll do like three separate requests because sometimes it can just randomly make it here. I want to make sure all three. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Every time, perfect. So, we can finally get away from these horribly flickering like flipping pipes here. Um, and there we go, we've now got a logistics pipe system. We can now just not have to worry about looking for all of our stuff, it's brilliant. You can also make a, a logistics crafting station. Is it called the crafting station? Uh, no, but I'm not quite sure what it's called, but, um, basically it allows you to do crafting, let me see, oh, the logistics crafting table, which is actually ridiculously easy, okay, well, in that case, then, let's make one of those, um, let me try this stuff, I put this stack right here, oh, no, so that doesn't work how I want it to work, what if I put it right next to this, still not what I want it to be, um, what am I after, then? Crafting table. Is it the fuzzy crafting table? No? That's so different. Oh, the request table. It's a request table. Okay. So this is the other thing. It's a bit more of a pain to make. Uh, we would need more requests. We would need more logistics pipes and some diamond chip sets, which means we need to get into lasers and assembly tables, which are, you know, <laughs> a little bit 
further down the road. Yeah, we need a QED for that. Uh, so we won't be doing that just yet, and this thing's just not even useful. We'll get rid of this for now, I guess. But um, you can make a table that kind of works like a crafting terminal from Applied Energistics, where you can request for craft. So it'll like pull all the items that you need for a craft, and then you can just grab it. Unfortunately, we don't have that available to us just yet, but we'll get there eventually. I think that is for crafting. Oh, the crafting table I made is for crafting. Of course it is. So now that that's done and out of the way, um, is this a repeatable quest or is it just like a one-off thing? It's like a one-off thing. Okay. It did unlock a quest elsewhere, apparently. Or at least it said it did. Uh, what do we need for the QED? Is it hard to make? He says, optimistically. Um... So, Eyes of Ender are actually fairly easy. Getting two of them shouldn't be too hard. Getting four or five of these uh, Ender Fuse Obsidian, actually not too bad. All we need, uh, we need five of them, so we need two Ender Pearls for that. Uh, but the Obsidian is real easy. And then, oh my gosh, what is this? The Diamond Etched Computational Matrix needs four Ender Diamonds, which is, oh my gosh. So we need 16 Ender Pearls just for this. And then some Quartz. Uh, I think that's just Burnt. The Burnt Quartz is just Quartz smelted, right? I don't think there's anything new when it comes to that. There isn't. And then... A computer, which is actually really easy. So, <laughs> it needs ender pearls. That's the only thing that we don't really have right now. Um, so, we need what? A lot. We need four. We need two, four for this, and then we need 60 more of that. We need 20 ender pearls to make that happen. Right now, I think we've got like maybe one. Yeah. Now, we do have these ender lily seeds, which we can use if we request like one of these. If we can get our smeltery temperature up high enough. People did say that we can actually smelt these with lava. And each one does get you four ender pearls. Now, four ender pearls, we got five of them. That's 20 ender pearls. So we could, in theory, get ourselves this QED. But you then also need the uh, the crystal, right? We need the uh, ender dash fluix crystal. This thing here, which needs another eye of ender and then more of this. So we need like 20 two ender pearls to make that happen, which is one more than we would be able to get with what we have right now. Which is a real pain in the backside. Let me try this. Let me put that in there. Because uh, before we put it in, and the, 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 the smeltery didn't get hot enough to melt it, it kind of got this bar at the top left, which is not good. <laughs> the smeltery wasn't opening for some reason. This bar at the top left got all the way to the top, and it just stayed there. It was just eating up lava, and it wasn't but smelting it down because uh, it wasn't getting hot enough. People told me I needed to make the smeltery bigger, Hopefully, this is big enough to make it work, but we'll see. Um, oh, yeah, you do. You get a crazy number, don't you, actually? Someone said you get 16 from a seed. That is, I think, correct, because I'm working on the assumption that 1,000 millibuckets equals one seed, but I think it's actually 250. Uh, do, 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 if I press U on here. Yeah, so actually, yeah, you get 16. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. So... Moment of truth, then. Let me get a second um, one of these uh, ender lily seeds. So in that case, we don't need two of them, because that would get us 32 ender pearls, which would be perfect. So uh, let me throw this both in here. While we're doing that, Mr. Lamp is screaming at me in Twitch chat to, uh, to go and open this chance cube. So I will go and open this chance cube while we wait for those things to smell. Hopefully that works. That's going to make life so much easier if it does actually work. Let's not die in the nether today. That's, like, that, that's today's goal. Okay, today's goal, don't die in the nether. That's it. That's like, that, that's the, the crux of the series. The crux of today's stream. Just don't die, you know, in the nether. You can die elsewhere. And there is the OG naughty librarian over there. I think she's cool, or he's cool. What we got? I really want that redstone. <laughs> <laughs> that redstone. Ooh. No, don't take my... I keep pressing Q. I need to click. Sneaky. Look at that. Free stack and a bit of redstone. And also free TNT. Would you look at that? Okay. Did the Ender Lily Seeds actually smell? Is the question. Wow. Um, okay. Ugh. We'll see if this uh, ever gets anywhere. It's still going up. The bar, I just saw it like, just push up a little bit there. It just looks like it's going to take about 400 billion years in order for it to get there. Which, you know, is a long time, you know. 400 billion years, that's like a couple of lifespans. Um, what I think we should do next 
is try to automate some of the sifting process. So I'm thinking we get a couple more of these lava generators. We still need to get enough Eulorium to make a Eulorium block. Yeah, right now we've got four Eulorium dust. If we can get nine Eulorium dust, we can make ourselves Eulorium block, which is then going to allow us to get a lot more lava out of these crucibles so we can power a lot more of these lava generators. Right now we're producing more than enough lava to keep this one generator online, but I would like to get a couple more of these up and running um, with hopefully a couple more uh, auto sieves as well so we can sieve sand, gravel, and dust. And then once we've got all that stuff, actually, I don't know if it's going to be an easy way for me to um, turn the cobble into sand, gravel, and dust. How expensive is the hammer? Is it the auto hammer? Is it expensive? No, it's not too bad. It's some invar, some iron, unless they've changed the recipe for an anvil, which I don't think they will have done. No, it's just a lot of iron. Uh, so that shouldn't be too bad. So getting, getting our hands on some gravel shouldn't be too big of an issue. Uh, we do get some uh, loot bags here. What do we got? We got an epic loot bag and an uncommon loot bag. The uncommon loot bag gave us an ender pearl, which is great. Not quite sure what the, the uncharged stone's about. And then mega <laughs> rubber tree saplings, which are um, buckets of fun for the whole family. Should we plant that yet? Is that something we should uh, we should plant? It's not it's not sacred, so it's not going to produce like a world ending tree, but it's like a pretty big tree. You know, it's like, it's it's pretty big. Have you ever seen it? It's pretty big. Plant it, plant it, <laughs> plant it, plant it. There we go, planted it. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so it's a big old tree. Um, there is a sacred rubber tree, which is like 10 times the size of this, and it's actually ridiculous. Uh, this one, just gonna get us a ton of rubber. So if we just, I don't think that our hatchet here, although it's got a durability of a thousand, I think it's not going to be able to cut this down, like, at all. We will vein mine it. Don't you worry, chat. There we go. It didn't break it. I think I let go of the vein mine key too early. Possibly. You know what? I'm going to go flipping. I'm going up. I'm chopping this thing down. It's pretty big. <laughs> the white stone is amazingly useful. Is it the... Um, is it, is, does it keep you inventory? Is that what it does? Like, if you, don't, if you don't keep inventory on, does it allow you to, um, to keep your inventory? Is that something it does? Let me try this again. Let me keep, I'm going to keep the grave key held down. There we go. Yes, yeah, so if you let go of the grave key too early. Oh, look at that. That is actually so annoying. Okay, so there goes most of the, le oh my god. God damn it. We don't take fall damage though, so we can just do this. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look how much rubber we have. Holy crap. That's actually incredible. Oh, it actually fudge and worked. We got 8,000 millibuckets of the stuff. So, if we go over here and we get our gem cast, we should now be able to pull out like 32 um, ender pearls worth of stuff. Um, we should uh, get some obsidian. Uh, it's probably gonna tear through our lava pretty quickly here. Actually, you know what? People keep telling me, Isaac, hey, why don't you just go to the nether for it? And that's a good idea. We've only got five buckets. Um, do we want to make more? Mostly, like, mostly because I just don't want to go backwards and forwards to the nether too much. So you know what, yeah. We're going to make some more buckets. We're going to take all of them to the nether and buy some more. I mean, like, five more. And then we're going to go to the nether with our ten buckets. We're going to come back. That'll get us ten obsidian. We're probably going to need more obsidian than that, but that's fine. Are we going to need more obsidian than this? Um, I'm not quite sure, actually. We might need a bit more obsidian. But I don't think we're gonna need a lot more obsidian. Ten obsidian? Let me let me let me let me do the math on this. Let me let me run the numbers. We wanna make ourselves a QED, right? <laughs> the QED, thankfully, doesn't require any power. So it's actually pretty easy. So we need two there. Uh three, four, and then sixteen. Oh, that's ender pearls. <laughs> so we need uh four, eight, and then just eight. Yes, yeah, so the ten's fine. Ten is ten is more than eight. Does that the math check out there, chat? Is ten more than eight? Oh, also, the ender pearls do stack at more than 16, which is good. There was a new update that went out today. I haven't updated the pack yet, but there was a new update that, like, a bunch of new stuff also stacked. I think, like, buckets in the new update stacked to 64 as well, which is pretty good. So I think 8 should be enough. We might have to get two more obsidian um, to make the QE, to make the uh, the laser thing. The, uh, the laser thing. Ender. It's the ender flux crystal. This thing. I don't know why I had laser in my mind. It's the ender flux crystal. We need this thing. So we're going to need one more obsidian, or two more obsidian, to get that up and running. But... Outside of that, we have everything it takes to make the actual QED itself. All we need now is uh, two blaze powder. We might have to go... Oh, no, we won't. I was going to say we might have to go back to get some more uh, nether quartz, but we already have the nether quartz, so that's fine. 
Yeah, there we go. Skullcrush just posted the link to the SoundCloud uh, in chat there. There's an Obsidian song, uh, as well as some other stuff, like with uh, with Meteorlock from back in the day as well. Feel free to uh, to check it out. There's some uh, there's some really <laughs> bad music on there if you want to uh, if you want to listen to it. Uh, not, I wouldn't call it music, guys. There's some really bad sound clips <laughs> on there if you would like to listen to them. Um, QED. QED. So we've got these. We've got the Eyes of Ender, which is easy enough. Crafting table, easy enough. We've got the Ender of Fuse Obsidian. All we need now is this thing. So easy peasy. We need four diamonds. I don't think we have that. We don't. We've got these. Uh, let me let me take those. How many? What can we do with these? Uh, diamond dust, which we can't use just yet. We could smelt it and then mine it, which would be a little inefficient. But you know what? Screw it. <laughs> it's fine. By the time we get to the point where we can actually do this efficiently, we should have um, an ultimate like set of stuff set up, so that we can just have like unlimited diamonds coming from uh, gravel anyway. So it should be fine. Uh, so we're at 22. Is there anything? Can we like grindstone these? To get something good? Uh, no, we can use it for crops. We can hammer it to get a diamond, smelt it to get a diamond. Um, yeah, that's a shame. It doesn't look like we can do a whole lot with it. Like, as of yet, like we don't have an enrichment chamber or anything like that. So I think it's probably just easiest to just do like this and just get 16 diamonds. We would have got 22, but the thing's obviously out of, uh, out of juice now. So we'll go ahead, one, two, three, four of those. The computer was just like a glass pane, which I think we also already have in here. Let's see here. Glass pane, yes. We'll take a glass pane. We'll take a redstone. And I think it was just then like normal stone for the computer. Yeah, normal stone. Do we have that as well? We do. Okay, so we'll grab seven stone as well. Uh, okay, so we need, what, four of those? So I guess we need like 16. Boom. And then we can just smelt that in our new diamond furnace, which is only a little bit faster than a normal furnace, <laughs> even though it took so much so much time and so many resources. The obsidian stone is now stuck in my head. It'll, that'll be the rest of your life. It's gonna be, it's got a very catchy ring to it. It's gonna be number one. Um, it's gonna be the Christmas number one this year, trust me. It's like f four years after release, but it's gonna be Christmas number one. Count, w watch out, it's gonna be there. Even though we're not selling it, it's gonna be Christmas number one. But we've got a QED. We have ourselves a QED. Now what we need is the end of flux crystals which shouldn't be all too hard. All we need is another Eye of Ender, super easy stuff, and then two more Obsidian. So we'll take one more Blaze Powder. Um, for the last two Obsidian, I think I'll just pull it out of these um, barrels if we can. We can't, <laughs> it's just, just super fun. Um, I think what's happening here is like all the lava's been backed up inside of these uh, pipes. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of break this, take that, do this. Oh, no, it's just... <laughs> we're just, like, out of lava. Okay. Uh, you know what? In that case, then, we're going to get rid of that. A little bit of a waste of lava, but that's fine. We'll put it back down, and we're just going to take it out of the smeltery. One, two. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Last time I did that, it filled up real quick, so I thought we had, like, a nice backlog of, of lava going, but apparently not. Uh, I think it might, at this time, like, be actually, like, being used by the logistics power junction here. So we probably are a little... Yeah, the lava is being used up here, like, maybe faster than we're producing it. Possibly, although I'm not quite sure right now, because it is being uh, used to refill the smeltery first. All right, so now we've got ourselves one end of flux crystal, which is not particularly fast. It's going to be real slow, but that doesn't really matter. All that matters is that it works. So we can put this down anywhere in the nearby radius. Where did that just go? Did I just drop that on the floor? Oh, it's, it's in my inventory. <laughs> so we've got this now, though, and like I said, it's going to be pretty slow, but... We can throw it down, it should work. So we can now start crafting stuff in the QED, which is good, because there is a bunch of stuff that needs to be crafted in the QED. Was it a quest? It is a quest. We need 12 of them? You want me to make 12? 12? 